what an adventure it was to get here. <laughs> but we made it and we are at Tembere Camp by Sanctuary thanks to our friend at Hungary Expedition. This is the newest camp in Old Pajeta and it's nice nice. Let us show you around. <laughs> So right now, it is cold and rainy, and when we arrived at the camp, we were cold and wet. <laughs> so they're off to a very five-star start. Um, we are met with warm towels and a warm dawa instead of cold towels and a cold dawa. A nice touch. And umbrellas. Yeah, but like they, they greet it with me with an umbrella over the truck. Points. So when we first arrived, we were met with a bottle of bubbly inside of our room. So of course we had to pop it and pour ourselves a glass. So now let me show you around though. One thing you notice about these tents, extremely modern. They are absolutely stunning. So when you come over here, you have a working area, USB, every single plug that you would ever have around the world is there as well. We have a beautiful, I think it's larger than king size to be honest. It is massive, a bed here and there's two heated blankets in the sense of like David can have his and I can have my own so yeah very pumped about that and then come back here into the bathroom something <laughs> David absolutely loves is when the toilet is separated from the rest of the bathroom so <laughs> he does love that and then you have a double sink over on this side you even have a wardrobe area which I personally love because sometimes at 5.30 in the morning when you're trying to do your makeup, um, you end up putting a little bit too much and then in daytime you see it, whatever. And then down here, we have a huge shower. Here comes with instant hot water. We'll have to test that out, obviously. And then back into the main area. And something you didn't really see was this seating area when you first come in. So, absolutely gorgeous. I'm not gonna show you outside right now because it's pitch black. I don't even know really where we are, like in the sense of what's in front of us. So we're gonna discover that tomorrow morning. But for now, let's go get some supper because it is 7.40. Normally we eat at like seven. You mean 5.30? Yeah, I mean at a camp. <laughs> One more cold feature, super unique, never seen that before. There's actually a gym bag with, with two yoga mats and some dumbbells. Supper. supper was all fantastic, but the star was definitely your starter. Yeah, that was so Hot good. With flavor. Yeah. Lamb and hummus. Yeah. Mwah. Oh man, that was amazing. Um, and then my cheese plate had a really unique type of like chutney or jam yeah. with it, which is Super fantastic. Good. Yeah. But yeah. Overall, a good meal. And yeah, we yeah. came back and uh, shower, check, instant hot yeah. water. Like. Yeah, and like hot, hot. Like, you yeah, gotta be super careful. hot. So yeah. So now we're gonna go to bed because it's a safari morning tomorrow. <sighs> so see you then. Good morning, a much better morning than evening because like <laughs> the sunrise, there is like oh. Mount Kenya in the distance too, which is yeah, very nice. Yeah, I just nice. noticed that. I didn't notice yeah. that before. So basically, it got pretty chilly overnight, I have to say, which I loved, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's um, the best way to worry. sleep. <laughs> They've got lots of blankets on the bed. We mm. didn't even turn on the heat. It, there's two heated blankets yeah. on it too. Um, 
is yeah, the fantastic. best sleeping condition. And now we're gonna go have the best breakfast. <laughs> This camp just went from good to great because they have real Canadian maple syrup. So this morning for breakfast, I get the breakfast of the day or the specialty of the day and it's actually a croissant with eggs and bacon and cheese and it looks fantastic. It is fantastic. So this camp actually offers two options. Self-dive, which we're gonna do right now, and game package. I would advise if you think that you want them to drive you, I would plan that ahead of time because it seems that on property they might have limited vehicles at this time. Are you guys ready to go on a safari with the best safari guide in Kenya? This guy. Okay, I don't really believe that. Very Not nice. Bad, actually, yeah. There's quite a bit of. Thank you so much. <laughs> so since it was dark yesterday, we didn't get a chance to show you, but this is actually our balcony slash porch area with a nice view. They even have a couple of water holes in front of us. Because of all the rain, there's even a small river that opened up. But yeah, it's beautiful. But now let's go see the rest of the camp. So we're actually the closest one to like the main tent area. There's 10 tents total currently. Um, we're starting at number two, the rest of them are all on this side and then number one on the other side. But they are actually building a family tent that will hold up to six people. So that will be a really nice addition to it. But let's go see inside the tent. So when you first come in, you actually have a bush boutique here. They have a lot of cute stuff in there. I'm already eyeing something, but I'm trying to be good. Um, and then over here, we have kind of like your check-in lounge area, so that's where you sign everything, kind of get welcomed here, the spiel and everything like that. And then we have the dining room. So right now there's just us in one big group, so it's kind of separated that way, but it's really nice. But straight in front of me, let's go see the bar. So then on this walkway, we're gonna go to the bar, but something we did notice is they actually have a fire pit. We didn't see it last night because obviously it was pouring, um, but this part, I absolutely love the look of this bar. They even have bean bags here that you can have a drink and just enjoy the view in the afternoon or whenever you want, really. Welcome for lunch and like Tracy said earlier, it's literally just Tracy and I and our group of 14 people. That's it. So the settings looks like this. So that's them and that's us here. <laughs> These bread rolls are honestly the best bread rolls. They're so soft, they smell amazing and last night when we got them, they were fresh and warm. Tracy says uh, it, they taste like our mother's bread rolls. Oh, they're so good. Myrna, you so got some good. competition out there. <laughs> Guys, for the appetizer, they took cheese and they deep like fried brie it. Like brie or camembert. Mm. And with the salad, it just cuts through it. Mm. That's really good. It is amazing. We were literally joking earlier, being like, 
only there was animals that came right in front and I was just about to lay down and there's four elephants in front just, of me. Just right there. Oh my God. So this afternoon we're actually going for a game drive with the camp. As we mentioned earlier, those are your two options, self-drive or with the camp. Um, and Malimu is actually our driver, so we're going to see what we can spot and maybe have a good sundown or somewhere. And can we just appreciate how beautiful and luxurious this Land Cruiser looked like? like Did you hear that word? He just said that it's Land Cruiser. <laughs> okay, it's beautiful. not a Land Rover, but still, it looks really good. Like, I feel like I'm in a limo. Look at those seat covers, armrests, little pillows. It's nice. This ranger just told us that there's lion around uh, somewhere in the bush over there, but he's just taking a walk. Doesn't seem too worried about it. for sundowner um, we have a giraffe right there in the distance we have an elephant we've got zebras it's just lively out here today <laughs> I love like the night sounds and like the Kenyan wilderness, but like, is it me or like, it's very loud here. Like very, very loud. There's no better way to end a safari day than with a campfire. And of course, another glass of wine. Might as well join them. We made some friends. So we decided to get both. We mainly, both of us wanted the salad, but we were really torn on trying the soup. So they brought us one soup to share. Thanks for the good time. <laughs> what a night, but let us just give you like some sort of disclaimer. Okay, so last night we had never met this group and this was not allowed. Like no. there was no music or anything. It's just because we got along, so we joined in that they allowed this to happen because they basically booked out the rest of the camp. Yeah. Um, so this is not a normal situation. This does not reflect on the camp. No. This was all of us together having fun. Yeah. 
Yeah. So <laughs> unless you book the entire camp, don't think you're going to come no. here and like go on a party. Never. It's just <laughs> they were nice people. They invited us to their table. We and because along, they were 14 like... and we had that tiny little table, we're like, sure. mine as well. <laughs> and uh, and then they had some good jam. So cool I started people. to sing. So yeah. David can't resist singing. Anyway, good night, but it's way past my bedtime. Guys, so we have to get up in like six shh, hours. Shh, shh, shh. I know. Don't say it. It's so late. See you in the morning. <laughs> Morning. Morning. How are you? Good. Good. Morning. Morning. So we saw a massive group of hyenas, and one was eating, but like had a really weird shape, food. Like couldn't really figure it out. So after getting closer, closer, it's actually a baby rhino head. Um, so as you know, Opal Jetta with Rhino Conservancy and everything like that. So um, our driver has reported it to the rangers and everything, and now we're gonna stay here until they get here so that they can do like a full report. We tried to get the hyena to like drop the head and leave it alone, but unfortunately that didn't happen. So some more rangers showed up. They're gonna track the hyena through the bushes just to confirm. Um, but yeah, that's it. Our part is done. Those of you who um, think that runny eggs are gross. <laughs> it's very hard to get runny eggs in Kenya. And they did them perfectly here. We yeah, love them. This is how we wanted them. Yeah. <laughs> you can get them hard if you want them. So overall, a great experience. This is definitely like top tier, five star camp. Mm -hmm. It is definitely the most luxurious camp in Old Pajeda. No questions mm -hmm. asked. The staff are super attentive. Like you never have to run around trying to find someone. They're always there, but not too much, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When we did our safari with the guides, guides are fantastic. Actually, both of them used to be rangers before. In Old Pajeta, then, here, yeah. so like they know this park like their own pockets. Yeah, and you can tell because they have like almost a feeling of like respect and more care for the park yeah. too. Because like today with the hyena and everything, like just fantastic. As you can see, food is very good too. <laughs> really, really, really good. <laughs> So this is actually the first camp by the collection, like the sanctuary that we've ever stayed in. So I can't speak to the other ones, but if it's consistent across the board, then I would say there's no issue with uh, with that. No, sanctuary has <laughs> They're a very, really good. Has a very very good reputation they in do. terms of like luxury camp. Yeah. They're in many countries, so now I'm excited to like go to other properties. Yeah. The one thing I do have to say is. This place is obviously fantastic. It's brand new, um, super modern. Love the look of like the dining room and everything too. It is more on the safari side. So basically when it comes to this place, um, the entire lodge is absolutely stunning. Yeah. Like everything to do with it. I love the main tent area as well. But when you step into the tent, it's so beautiful that you feel like you're in a hotel room. Yeah, it's very modern, very like hotel-like. So like if you're mm -hmm. looking for a very raw safari experience with just a canvas and the bare minimum, this is not it. But if you're looking for, for luxury, trust me, they do luxury here. Like mm -hmm. the, the room again, stunning. It just Absolutely like fantastic. not a safari as you think, but we loved it. Yeah, so I need to finish eating because apparently I talked a lot and David did not because... Yeah, I just eat fast. Anyways. <laughs> So a big thank you to Sanctuary for hosting us, having us out here, and for Hungary to organizing everything because that takes work too. <laughs> yeah, so Hungary's expedition uh, information are going to be down below in the description. If you want to book a luxury safari, there's no other company you should deal with. This is the one. So once again, information down below. And until then, see you guys. So in the next one. <laughs> so we are heading to the truck, just putting our bags in, and all of a sudden we're stopped and apparently there is a tree planting ceremony in our name. So let's go see what that's all about. <laughs> 
uh, we're very honored to have you, Dave and Tracy. Thank you. And uh, we yes. just want you to leave a little bit of uh, a piece of you behind as you put your DNA into the soil there. <laughs> yes, I'm, sure it. I, <laughs> I'm sure it's going to make you come back again. Yeah. So uh, we are li- really looking forward. We know the importance of trees. Yeah. So we, we know this is a very, very important thing to do here. And we are, we are always honored to have such guests and we get to do such an activity. now have a tree in Old Pajeta. What a nice little surprise to leave with. <laughs>